Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Local Lens. I'm your host, Edward McCarver, and for the next half hour, well, or until I run out of questions, uh, we're going to be talking about the Wallingford Community Theater. Now, the Wallingford Community Theater is presenting School of Rock, the musical, on August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at Lyman Hall High School. Curtain goes up at 7.30 p.m. each night. Tickets are $20 general admission and $15 for children and seniors. Tickets are available at Gallagher's Travel Shop and online at brownpapertickets.com or at the door the night of the performance. And it's first, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, kind of an old friend, something we do every year about this time, uh, Mary Ellen Eccles, the, uh, the director of the play. Mary Ellen, welcome. Thanks, Ed. It's always good to be back here. And we have some of the actors, and uh, we'll be talking to them in just uh, a little bit. So, first off, Mio, uh, Mary Ellen, um, School of Rock, why, uh, why did you choose that, and uh, what, what goes into deciding what, what the play will be? Um, well, we, we do spend a long time um, going through things, and I, one of the things I like to do is rotate through um, shows that will highlight different ages. Um, for example, Wizard of Oz had a lot of young children's parts and a lot of adult parts, and some in the middle um, for teens and, and older children. This year, it's focused more on older children and teens and, and the adults, and I've created um, songs and things for the um, younger children to do. So there's always something for everybody, but th the shows are different each time. And we always look at, you know, one of the things that's really challenging is that we always abide by the licensing and royalty rules, and now, since COVID, um, they have a different way of doing things, and it can take a very, very long time to hear back. So we put in applications for six, seven, eight shows and wait to hear back to see what we get. So you want to make sure you, you like them all, you love them all. Is there an average time it takes for a show to come back pre-COVID and, and now post-COVID? Oh, pre-COVID, you could apply, and I would say four to six weeks you had your answer. Now you can apply, and you're lucky if you get an answer in four to six months. Wow. Yeah. That much. Well, the professional theaters get first shot, mm -hmm. and because they're not sure, you know, the theater world's been in an upheaval since COVID, and, and they're not sure who they're going to get and all the contracts and how they're going to jive their cast and get everything taken care of, and it really, really takes a long time. So they will put, they can put any 30, 40 shows on hold um, until they decide. And you've got every professional theater in the country doing that. So when that happens, it really narrows what's available to us. Eventually, they make their decisions, and then it releases, which is why I always apply super early, so I get a better choice. Yeah, boom. Now, in this play, there's a lot of live music taking yes. part, along with uh, yes. recorded music in the play. What type of challenges does that, uh, does that have? Well, it's, it's actually my preference. Um, I'm trained in conducting and as an instrumentalist myself as well, but um, I love, I've always performed myself with a live orchestra in the pit, and there's, there's nothing like it. It's really fabulous. And I'm thrilled that we finally um, can have that for the Wallingford Community Theater. We're really, really fortunate. Um, we're partnering with Pat Russo's uh, music studio. He's got incredibly talented kids. Mm. Um, they sound like they've been playing the jazz circuit or the rock circuit, <laughs> you know, for 40 years, and and they're like 10, 11, 12 years old. They they're professionals, and uh, and Pat and Amity will also be playing in the pit with them. So nice. I have um, the joy of conducting live again. Is this the first time you've done live music with the uh, with the Wallingford community? community? Yes, yeah. yes, it is. Yep, it's our first time with that here. Um, when I did theater earlier, I, I've conducted full orchestras in the pit um, years ago. Um, so it's really nice to bring it. Nice, nice. We're talking with uh, Mary Ellen Kingsland. We're talking about the Wallingford Community Theater presenting School of Rock, the musical, on August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at Lyman Hall High School. Curtain again goes up at 7.30 p.m. each night. Tickets are $20 general admission and $15 for children and seniors. Tickets are available at Gallagher's Travel Shop and online at brownpapertickets.com or at the door the night of the performance. We have uh, a number of the, uh, well, a few of the actors that are 
in the performance. We have uh, Charlie Forte. Hello. Lil Parody. Yes. And in the middle, we have Kaylee Crouch. Now, I must have to say, Kaylee Crouch, if you went to the play last year, she was on stage probably more than anyone and did not have a single line of dialogue. <laughs> Kaylee, can you explain what uh, what you were last year, or, or we can do it if you like? Um, last year I was Toto, and I didn't have any words, but I actually liked it, so. <laughs> and you barked like a pro, as I, as I recall. Yeah. So, so. Same innovation every time. <laughs> Um, let me ask, and Charlie, I'll, I'll start with you. What made you get involved in theater? Well, a few years back now, I found myself with just a lot of time on my hands, nothing to fill it with, and eventually I actually ran into who now I know are some of our main people in our cast a lot of, for a lot of our shows uh, at, funny enough, uh, Mutual Friends' <laughs> other show. And they said, oh, we're doing this production. You should get back into it. Because at the time, I'd been out of acting for six or seven years. And then... Long story short, all that time later, here we are. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And and I sh I should have mentioned this uh, up front uh, that Charlie plays uh, Dewey Finn. Those that are familiar with School of Rock, the Jack Black character in the movie Dewey Finn. Uh, Lillian is Rosalie Mullins, the school principal, if I'm correct. And um, and Kaylee is uh, Summer Hathaway, a student in uh, in Dewey Finn's class. All right, Lillian, how? Um, what made you get involved in the theater? Um, I started theater when I was like super young, like nine, probably Kaylee's age. And I started getting into it because my mom was a director for a long time. So she has a big passion for theater and she wanted at least one of her kids <laughs> to do theater. So I was like, why not be me? And I've been doing it ever since because I just love it. It's so much fun. Yeah, good, good. And Toto, <laughs> how, uh, how did you get involved in the theater? Well, at first I just started with dancing, and later on I found one of my friends singing, and I said, okay, I'll try it. <laughs> and then I I found out that I actually love performing, and I think it would be really easy, and maybe I could try doing School of Rock and The Wizard of Oz because it actually helped me get to my comfort zone. Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. Some of us are still struggling to get to our comfort zone, <laughs> I think. But, 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 but good for you. Um, let, me, let me ask you, uh, Mary Ellen, yeah. how, um, how do you decide who plays what role in a play? Is it, is it just the audition process, or is it something you see, or knowing the person? or? I think it's a combination of a few factors. Um, in, our, in the Wallingford Community Theater, if you audition, you, um, we don't cut anybody. I think we, that makes us different um, among many other ways from a lot of other theaters. We, every, if you want to be part of it, you can be a part of it. But having said that, we, you always want to put people where they, they can best shine and yet at the same time grow a little bit. You always want your actors to be able to stretch a little bit and grow. I mean, that's good for all of us. Um, and... Um, I think that I, I look and, and you know, we, of course we listen to them sing and I, I know, I, I try to make a very easy audition process. Um, I remember how, how brutal those can be and feel and I always try to, yes, listen to them, have them do a reading or do an improv if they're younger. Um, but there's usually, I get a sense of an energy about a person in terms of, um, if you've got a, a character that's um, very, very high energy or very bubbly, let's say, you, you don't want to pick a very quiet, shy, reticent person unless they've got a big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> I have a friend like that who's in professional theater, and, and, and he's the quietest, shyest person just in regular life, but when he gets on stage, it's like, wow. you know. Wow, so yeah. there is that. But, but generally, you can get a sense just talking with them, letting them be at ease, and you get a sense. I look for coachability. Um, you know who who's who's good working with other people. You know that sense of teamwork. And um, I'm thrilled about this year. I, I, I we've been very blessed because every year we get a great group of people together, and and they work really well together as a team. Everybody's looking out for each other. It's really a family, and and it, it's um, it, the synergy really really works. And it is a team effort. 
Oh, absolutely. Oh, my gosh, yes, yes, absolutely. We also should mention, uh, even though it is Wallingford Community Theater, it is not limited to Wallingford residents. That's correct. If you are from living in another town. That's correct. We've had people drive in from all corners of the state, from out of state, um, for rehearsals to be in our shows, which really floors me. But but I really think one of the big draws is that – our mission is to be very open and welcoming and accepting, and I I love teaching, um, you know, acting and different things um, with the theater. So that for me, that's part and parcel of directing. And um, I I think they like I think they like the vibe. They like the um, being brought in to a welcoming group. A lot of clicks out there in theater. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, we're talking with Mary Ellen Kingsland and members of the Wallingford Community Theater presenting the School of Rock, the musical, on August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at Lyman Hall High School. Curtain goes up at 7.30 p.m. each night. Tickets are $20 general admission and $15 for children and seniors. Tickets are available at Gallagher's Travel Shop and online at brownpapertickets.com or at the door the night of the performance. Um, I want to get back to the uh, actors and Charlie, I'll, I'll start with you. Um, how do you prepare for, for doing a play like this, for instance? Is there a certain technique or system you use to, to prepare yourself for a role? Panic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, in all seriousness, uh, especially for a role like Dewey, it's very hectic, very wild, kind of off the walls the entire time, very high energy, and you really do have to bring that in a lot of ways between different mannerisms, but even just tone of voice, how you say lines, everything plays into it. Lily? Um, the first thing I really do is try to learn my lines so I'm not uncomfortable. But then I just kind of watch videos on YouTube, trying to figure out like who the character is and like develop. But it doesn't just come overnight. Like I do it over weeks and weeks till the performance so how do you how do you memorize lines is there is there a technique to, to do <laughs> oh, that geez. um i <laughs> panic make, which is the <laughs> <laughs> i make my sister do lines with me she hates doing it with me but i make her do it <laughs> <So>. <laughs> because i just make her sit and do everybody else's lines and i make her go over and over and over again with her until i get it so <laughs> all right and kaylee how do you prepare for uh for this play? The same thing Lily did, except a bit different, is because I go over my lines, and then I would start from the beginning and then not look at them, and then try to guess them. If I get them wrong, I start from the beginning. Good for you. Yeah. Over and over again. The, <laughs> well, let me ask all three. Does it get frustrating when you think you have a line down? And yeah. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was unanimous. So, all right. All right. Thankfully, we have a very supportive director. Yeah. <laughs> who's walked in your shoes, so I, I understand, I do. Yeah. And I think every actor develops their own techniques, too. Yeah. You know? yeah. And there, that's the cool thing, I think, about our theater, is that any one of them, I mean, they, 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 I think they feel very comfortable coming to me and saying, how do I, or can I, or can you help me with this or that? But they also know that they can backstage talk to someone um, who seems to be a little bit more experienced or at least calmer than they're feeling at the moment, and they talk to them and um, say, "How do you do it? How do you know?" And there's, it was fun. I did that with the young kids because a lot of them, it's the first time. All the students in the classroom, it uh, for a lot of them, this is their very first play, and it's it's they carry the show with Dewey. The the students and Dewey, you know, are on stage so much of the time. So we talked about different techniques and how there's no one right way. Let, let me ask you this: I asked the actors how they prepare to act. How how do you prepare to direct? I think you have to know, um, I mean, yes, you know, in, in, in college, we had, I had some great, great professors um, who, who were awesome and taught me a lot. But I think when you're actually doing it, you, you learn constantly all the time. But the best way I know to prepare is, first of all, to know, um, know your, whatever play you're doing or musical you're doing it know it inside and out. I do both stage and musical direction, um, and 
I, I've been trained in both. I have degrees in both, but it's it's um, you really have to know your material. You have to know you have to know what you're looking for. You have to be able to imagine it in your head what the stage looks like, the people blocking. I can listen to a song and um, it's crazy, and I, I'm blocking it in my head. If I like it and I want to perform it someday or have somebody perform it, I'm blocking it in my head or how I see this or that. But I think once you get to that point of this is what this is where I'm going to begin. I'm not a rigid director. Um, you have to start somewhere, so you have your first vision plan, and then you just kind of lay it out. Um, you have to create a ground plan. You can't teach your your actors blocking, you know, moving around the stage if you don't know where the table's going to be or or which traveler they're coming from or what curtains are working. You have to know your seat. You have to know a lot of different things. Um, and, and you have to be prepared when you walk into auditions because you have to know what you're looking for, what you're going to do. And it does. I'll, I'll study for months before I even hold auditions. I mean, that's my responsibility to them. You know, I'm asking a lot from them. They, all three of them have so many lines. They, the three are, are magnificent on the stage. Um, and this little one, oh my God, <laughs> she opens Act Two, and she must have like five million words in that song at, at one of the fastest tempos. And uh, she nails it. She did it for auditions. That Very blew good, me though. away. I was like, oh my gosh, this is fabulous. Yeah. Again, we're talking with members of Wallingford Community Theater who are presenting School of Rock, the musical, on August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at Lyman Hall High School. Curtain goes up at 7.30 p.m. each night. Tickets, again, are $20 general admission and $15 for children and seniors. Tickets are available at Gallagher's Travel Shop and online at brownpapertickets.com or at the door the night of the performance. Um, a question I ask all actors and, and directors, comedy or drama, which do you prefer to do and which is tougher? Charlie, I'll start with you. Truthfully, I'm not sure if I have a preference. Really? So, I think both can be very interesting, especially you can have, even in drama, you can have comedic moments just to help break some tension, and vice versa. Comedies like School of Rock, you do still have drama. You do still have stakes. Like my character, Dewey, for instance, in the real world, he commits several crimes <laughs> throughout the course of this show. <laughs> but in the magic of theater, it's it's washed away as funny. And it for the tone of the show, it absolutely works. Interesting. Yeah. Lily? Comedy, for sure. For <laughs> sure. Oh. And I think comedy is harder than a drama in many ways because it's like you can develop a sort of dramatic acting, but comedy is like you already have to have it in you. And you already have to be sort of like a comedic person in your everyday life to be able to do it. And some people cannot pull it off. <laughs> so definitely a comedy, I prefer. Have you ever done a drama and just think it's um, not your cup of tea? Or? I wouldn't say that I've really done a drama. Most of my shows have been comedy shows. But I think it's just like the energy overall. Like I just like comedy better. All right. Kaylee? I think drama is harder for me because when I look out to the audience, sometimes I see people laughing at a different thing and then I can't help but laugh too. <laughs> and, and then comedy is more of my suit because I think I already have that part done. Okay. <laughs> so, so that's why I think drama is not my best suit either. Mary Ellen? Well, I... You know, I, I love comedy, and um, I agree with Lily. I, I think it's very difficult to teach comedy to someone because it really is, first of all, you have to have that quirky way of looking things, that com comedic way of seeing things or seeing opportunities in something and being able to um, lighten it up or make it more interesting with some comedy. But it's really about um, comedic timing. And I, I almost, you know, I hesitate to say you're born with it or you're not um, because I would never want somebody who dreams of doing comedy. <laughs> it may or may not be successful for them if they just don't have that. I think comedic timing is very, very hard to, to teach. I found ways to kind of do it. I'll say wait three beats and then say it, and it sounds funnier, but they're not feeling that. You know, mm -hmm. I have to say, 
So kind of you're gonna with some of them you're almost seeing them count three. I'm very fortunate that the people that I cast in the the, the really strong comedic roles are you always you look you look for somebody you can find that in auditions. You see somebody with that. You know, even when they're just talking to somebody before they have to come up and do their thing, you just watch them and you see the the animated facial expressions. And that's how I found Toto. She was sitting in the chorus in the front row when I was working with the lollipop kids, trying to and making all these grimacing faces. And all of a sudden, I, I'm looking and there she's out there doing all these faces. I said, Oh my gosh, she's her face is great. She could be Toto. And that's how I found her. Yeah, she was so funny. She was just kind of trying it there. Did you have any idea? That you were making those faces, or were you just into the I song? I did, or? but I was like, I was like, let's see if I can do that. Because yeah. I wanted to see if I could even do it. And you did. <laughs> Good. And at, at the time we're taping this, we're maybe 12, 14 days out from nine. No, nine days out from <laughs> from opening night. Thank you. No Thank panic. You. No um, panic. Panic. <laughs> again, I'll start with the actors. Um, what is opening night like for you? Um, what's going through your mind? Do you have any routines that you do uh, before you hit the stage? Do you want me to start with Lily? Or, well, uh, I've already used my panic joke. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, but as far as that goes, you really do feel just a massive adrenaline rush of everything that we've worked on for so long is coming to fruition. This is the moment. Yeah. Like, I... Personally, I will feel it in my fingers. I will try and restrain myself from shaking almost. Oh, yeah. I'm just, it's happening. It's happening. Yeah. It's happening. Really? Um, opening night is definitely scary, but I feel like I feel more excited. And before I go on stage, I like to ground myself because I can get a little crazy and a little high-pitched if I get nervous. But I ground myself and I, like, take a minute for myself. I don't talk to anyone. I'm, like, in the corner looking at the wall before going on stage. But it definitely is scary, for sure. Uh, a good <laughs> I, I, I remember years ago talking to Lacey Mapes about being nervous before a play. And, and I find, you know, I've acted a little myself. So I, uh, <laughs> I, I say it, it's good to be nervous because yeah. I yeah. think it, it keeps, keeps you on your game. Yeah, I and, agree. All right, Kaylee, what's I, opening night like for Kaylee Crouch? Well, what I think is, oh, my gosh, I'm going to mess up. Will I mess up? Will I mess up? <laughs> panic. <laughs> and then no. what I was just going to say, I would panic and stress, panic and stress, and then read my lines, panic and stress, panic and stress, and try to find a way to, like, read my lines when I'm off stage to memorize it. Okay. So Good it definitely is stressful. Right. But a good stressful. No. Oh, not a good stress. All right. I stand corrected. So, all right. We'll work on that, sweetie. All right, Mrs. Eccles. All right. What's um, my opening what's night? Opening night. Well, I will tell you, it is very different from when I performed because I felt very much like all of you every time. You know, I had been on the stage since I was three, and and yes, I felt all of that. But usually, when you, you get those first couple lines out, you're good. Yeah. <clears throat> Once you get out there and you get going, you're good. But as a director, usually by then, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm not nervous, but um, I'm excited. Um, I'm probably a little intense. But um, one of my favorite things, to, usually by then, we have so many wonderful volunteers and crew, um, crew members and crew chiefs. And, we, and we, we've, we can have anywhere up to 200 people working behind the scenes that you never see. These people have been working for months and months and months. So it's not like we just decided last week. Let's do a show. <laughs> so usually by then, if all goes well, and you know, God willing, it all does every time. But I, one of my favorite things to do is to actually go into the costume shop and do makeup for the actors, because it's kind of I like to talk with them and joke with them. I like to um, let them all know what a great job they've been doing and how good they are. In fact, I, I usually, I think for se this is our 17th year, I, I usually write um, letters to every cast member every year before opening night. And I, I thank them for their hard work and um, how much I think of each of them. And, and uh, yeah, I know, it's true though. Because they give a, they give a lot and I want them to know I mean, this is a show, and yes, it's important, it's great, and all of that, but in the bigger picture, these are wonderful human beings. These are people, and it's 
I think our bigger mission is to help everybody find more about who they are and what they can bring to the world and share. And that's really my priority when for doing all of this. Yes, it's great to teach theater. It's fun. Um, but it's also it's also a magnificent vehicle for having people learn new things about themselves and learning how to share them. So again, we're talking with Mary Ellen Kingsland and members of the Wallingford Community Theater. And Kingsland Echoes. Oh, oh, Kingsland Echoes. Oh, forgive me. Just Steve's out there. Steve's visiting me. So yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, Wallingford Community Theater presenting School of Rock the Musical on August first, second, and third at Lyman Hall High School. Curtain goes up at 7:30 p.m. each night. Tickets are $20 general admission and $15 for children and seniors. Tickets, again, are available at Gallagher's Travel Shop and online at brownpapertickets.com or at the door the night of the performance. Uh, with less than four minutes to go here, very quickly, uh, the Wallingford Community Theater does not only do a summer play. What else is involved? Oh, that's with? true. Um, actually, we're growing. We had started to grow and expand our events. Um, before COVID, but since COVID, we've added even more. We have a repertory theater. We will be doing a our first musical adult repertory um, this spring. Auditions should be early December. Everybody will get their scripts and be able to study over the holidays, and we'll start rehearsing in January, and that will go up. That will be in the town hall, which is a beautiful auditorium, in the town council chambers. And um, we also have started a young people's um, – outreach program where we go, we do events, um, and we did Relay for Life recently, and we did um, some fundraisers for the local um, community daycare and, and things like that. We'll be expanding on that as well. And we also have, um, we are partners with the Town of Wallingford and the Celebrations Committee. We do the tree lighting, um, and we also do the Halloween parade and block party. So lots and lots and lots of opportunities for even our newest people who aren't. That's where Ryan Sheeran, who's so good in this play as a faculty, started out as our yeah. Grinch. <laughs> and nailed it. And nailed, and nailed it. it. He was amazing. Yeah. So lots and lots of opportunities. So I, we also have young people on our board. Um, we have um, a beautiful, wonderful group of adults from all walks of life and experiences on our, our board, and we started a youth board as members of that board because we always want to hear what the young people have to say. They're our future, and we're, we really want to develop this. Um, you know, when you hit late elementary, middle school, high school, it's great to have um, a purpose, some, some place to go where you're valued and you can contribute and, and grow and stretch yourself. Yeah. We have about a minute and a half left. Uh, I want to ask the actors, dream role. Someone gave you a script or a role, who would it be? Pass. Pass. <laughs> Come back to me. Mary Poppins, for sure. Mary Poppins. <laughs> my dream since I was little. Wow. All right. Your dream role was Toto. I know that answer. <laughs> but, but, do you? Um... So on Mother's Day, me and my mom went to the Broadway Wicked, and I think I would like to be Alphaba. I've actually been singing her song at the Pat Russell, and I just love her songs and stuff. So that's I, a great show. So good, for like good, good for you. Good good for you. Still want to pass? Uh, pass. All right. All right. <laughs> Maybe next year. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, I think that's it. Ella, great job with the timing. We've, let's hear it for Ella, guys. Yes. All right, good job, good job. Once again, uh, let me plug it one more time. Wallingford Community Theater, School of Rock, August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at Lyman Hall High School. Curtain goes up at 7.30 p.m. each night. Tickets are $20 general admission and $15 children and seniors. Tickets available at Gallagher's Travel Shop and online at brownpapertickets.com. And at or, the town hall. Oh, and it's at the town hall. How could I forget? The night of, and, um, or the door of the night of the performance. Mary Ellen, actors, good luck. Good luck. Have a good show. You mean break a leg, Ed? Break a leg, as they say. <laughs> Ed, you've been doing this for how long? And, uh, and Ed's and the, in the show, too. He's, you're a faculty member and a yeah. security guard. Damn. And I'm off book. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for Local Lens, this is Ed McCarver. Thank you very much. Yay.
Good job, Ella. Yeah. 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 All right. Good job, Poop. You did good. Yeah. <laughs>